Hi, Mom. Wojak, it's 5 a.m. here. I'm sorry, I forgot about the time zone difference. How are you doing? I literally just woke up. But thank you, I'm doing good recently. Great. Also, happy birthday. Thank you, darling. We will be celebrating it this weekend. Will you be there? Sorry, I'm not home this weekend. I'm coming home in two weeks, but first I have to finish this job. Always out of town, my hard worker. One day you'll regret never being home and celebrating with your family, kid. I know, Mom. But I need a job to get an income. And I love driving. I know, I know. I just wish you would be home more often. Are you home with Christmas? Nope. Same story. All right. I'm going back to bed now. Drive safe. I will. See you soon, Mom. Is that your truck? Yes. Which one is yours? That bobtail over there is mine. I've been smoking the brakes so I had to take a little pit stop. She looks nice. She has a black eye though. I know, I must pay my driving awards first before I can buy a new one. Understandable. So how long are you in this business now? About a year. A year? Then you're doing better than most kids nowadays. Most of them don't even get to 6 months before they quit. How about you? I am doing this for 40 years now. How is that going? Well son, experience doesn't improve your career very much. I still get paid the same I did many years ago. Luckily I bought a house many years ago which has gone up in value. Are you at home more often now that you're older? I'm always home. What do you mean? My truck is my home. My house in Texas feels more like a vacation home. I'm there only two days a month. It's my biggest advice for you kid, if you're here for the long run, you better treat your truck as your home because that's where you'll be spending most of your life. Stay loaded kid. I will catch you on the flip side. Hey babe. How are you doing? I miss you. I miss you too. I'm thinking about quitting over the road trucking. This is not how I want to spend my life. What do you mean? I want to be home more often. Maybe I'll stick with regional driving or quit trucking in general. But you said you love trucking? I do. But it comes with a cost. My social life is gone, I never see my family and the pay isn't going to get better in the future. But what other jobs can you do? I don't know yet, but there are enough options these days. I thought trucking would be nice for introvert people like me. But in the end, it's still very lonely. When we get a kid, I want to see him grow up. I don't want to be a dad who's never home. Anyways enough whining for me. How are you doing? What are you doing? I'm watching a series. Had a long day. I wish I could be there for you so you wouldn't be alone. Don't worry babe, I'll be fine. See you soon again. Sleep well. Sleep well. Is he gone? Yeah, he's asleep now. I think we can't do this much longer because he's going to quit trucking. What a shame. We really need truckers in this world. Hey, can I sit here? Whatever. Rough day? Usually. Are you a trucker? Can you tell? By the clothes, yes. But you are reading books about money? Yes. Only benefit of this job is you can save a decent amount of cash for investing. I always wanted to be a trucker when I was a kid. When I got older I realized there's more to trucking than driving around 24-7. I am curious, don't you get bored after a while? Sitting in the same vehicle the whole day? Well what do you do for a living? I'm a business administrator. So you sit behind a desk for 8 hours a day? Yeah. I think I'd rather be driving through the country instead of sitting in the same room every day. I get to see many places and I'm my own boss. 
That sounds good indeed. I must say, staring at a computer screen in a cubicle the whole day isn't very exciting either. But isn't trucking lonely though? It is, but some people prefer being alone rather than be surrounded by people. I am quite introverted. If you look at it like that, it's actually a nice job. I think we both have our pros and cons, just like any job. I agree. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that I deeply respect your job. Without truckers, we wouldn't be anywhere. You're the backbone of the economy. Thank you. I guess you're also doing important work for the economy. Kind of. It's mainly to fill the pockets of my boss. At least you do work that actually makes people happy. Thanks, that's a good thing to keep in mind. I got to go now. Thanks for enlightening me. Maybe I'll catch you on the flip side. Ciao.